Hi everybody, it's Martin the Flicking Feathers again today. Tying another wet, fly, wet fly for you. It's a goat's toe. Absolutely great for wild browns and sea trout. Caught, caught, I mean, caught rainbows and stuff out on them as well. That's a really good fly. Um, as always, we'll put a materials list in the description along with a link to the Patreon page for anybody who'd like to support the channel and get access to the members only content as well as been entered into the giveaways so I've got my hook and my vice and I've run on a bed of black thread, this is a size 10 cameras on B175 um, tie them 6's, 8's, 10's maybe a 12 uh, but they tend to work better when they're bigger I think so I've tied in my tail and this is Glow Bright Floss, uh, it's number 3. The original was wool but I think the floss tail is nicer. It's about 10 strands of floss there. And then the rib is also the same floss, a doubled strand. Um, again. Especially when you're tying them tens, rather than a big six, like a size six, the floss is a nice rib. So I'm just I've got a length of this. I've doubled it over my thread. Catch it in at the front. I'm going to lock it in on the way back down the body. And then a couple of strands of peacock hero. Tie them in. Well away from the tip, I've got an inch of tip going out over the eye there. Because that's quite weak in that section. And I've just got to tie it all the way down, covering everything up as I go. And then I can just break that away. Now, before I wind the peacock, I'm going to put some super glue in. to protect it and I'm going to wind it the opposite way that I wind my thread and everything else. Just take your time, build a nice body, it will stick down as it goes. When you get to your thread, one turn onto the hook, onto the peacock, one onto the hook, turn onto the peacock again one on the hook and that locks that in place nice and strong the rib, I'm just got to twist them together and just come up you want four or five turns up the body just opening on my wee bit there I'm not making a rope, I want it to be relatively flat, but if you twist, it holds the two strands together as they go on the hook. There we go. That's nice. Come across your thread, tie it down with two or three turns. Trim away your waist. Hackle. There's blue neck from a peacock. It's a lovely fibre this. Uh, really iridescent. Shiny. Very attractive to the fish. So I'm just trying to save as much of this as I can as I expose the tip. And then I'm going to come in, tie it off, fold the tip back. Now, it's up to you, you could probably leave that in, but I'm going to take it away. Um, even though you can, you hardly see it, I just, it doesn't flow the same as the rest of the hackle, so I like to remove it. And then, I'm just going to fold my hackle with my fingers and start winding forward 
one tunnel in front of the other. You'll not get a lot of turns out of these feathers. That's about right for me, I think. Tie that off nice and tight. The stems are really thick, so you can't eh, fold them. Just come in and cut it away. And you've got this big spidery looking kind of hackle. Moves well in the water. As I say, it catches the light. Iridescent, it's lovely. All that's left to do is whip finish the head. You can work on the shape of the head as you go with the whip finish just to tidy everything up. Trim away the thread. And it's just a case of coming in with some varnish. Just varnish over the eye. Don't touch the feather. And then you're ready to just come in with your needle. Feel that out. And the fly is done. If you want, you can give it another coat of varnish later. But there you go, that's the goat's toe. I hope that was useful. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please give me a thumbs up below and subscribe to the channel. Tight lines, guys. Bye.